gotten one of those. All right, well, hey, uh, not too far away, of course, Thanksgiving here, and the fall color is out. Our camera here at Rainbow City, our Barron Critical Weather Institute camera up there, uh, looking pretty outside this morning. Look at that in the afternoon now. Look at the colors of the trees we have there. Here downtown, we're looking pretty good. Fewer clouds coming through the area. Temperatures downtown from a BJCC camera, 71 degrees out there. Southwest winds around 9. Dew point getting up a little bit higher. It's a smidge more humid than it's been the last few days. 71 Alabaster, 72 there in Clanton with 70 from Alex City, Talladega. Dig at Asheville at 73 now. Same for Moundville. So we're warming up nicely out there. Temperatures running anywhere from about, say, at 7 to 15 degrees warmer compared to the same time yesterday. Yeah, big warm up underway out there with their southerly winds in place here. And a little bit of a breeze and mostly clear to partly cloudy. We'll call it across the area. A few more clouds from Knoxville, Nashville, Memphis area back toward Arkansas area. And we'll see a few more clouds come in with high pressure on the eastern seaboard. Suddenly winds are in place. A little bit warmer air off to our west will start spilling its way into Alabama tomorrow. And then we have this front up here to the north. This will be working its way in on Thursday. Now it's going to tap into that Gulf of Mexico moisture and eventually start spreading some showers across part of the deep south. The biggest part of the storm is going to be up here in Canada, which is good. It's far, far away from us. That means all the energy from the system stays up there, so we don't have to deal with severe weather with this system. But we will see some rain on Thursday, about a 40% chance before we dry back out for Friday and into Saturday. Doing a little rake leave, raking the leaves today. Perfect weather for that to do some yard work uh, before more of those leaves fall down. Temperatures in the mid 70s by 3 o'clock today, so looking pretty good with the mostly sunny skies. So there you see those lower to mid 70s across the area. By 6 o'clock, we're in the mid 60s, and by say 10 o'clock, we're in the 50s across the region. Tomorrow morning, wake up to some 40s and 50s, a little bit warmer out there with those southerly winds back to the mid 70s tomorrow afternoon. 75 Birmingham, Tuscaloosa 77, same for you, Aniston to Talladega. And then on Thursday morning, here comes that cold front, a few showers in the 50s, getting to the mid and upper 60s before the front moves through here by midday. Then temperatures fall to the 50s by Thursday afternoon, and then finally everything clears out by Thursday 9 p.m. Temperatures quickly fall down there, and then by Friday morning, looking clear for the lunar eclipse, and then by Friday afternoon, things are looking pretty nice and that continues into Saturday too. Overall not looking too bad across the area, which is good news. By the way, the eclipse again Friday at 3.02 a.m. Longest eclipse in over 500 years. The moon will turn reddish actually instead of being totally blocked. So check that out early on Friday morning. We'll have a clear sky to be able to see that. There's the rain again for Thursday and cool weather for this weekend with highs in the 60s and lows in the 30s and 40s. All right, Dave, thank you. Coming up on the news at noon, President Biden's